Welcome to Raising the Bar. I'm Jamie Boudreaux. Today we're going to continue with drinks that are being done at Canon with a, a classic, first uh, found in 1910 Waldorf Astoria cocktail book. It's called a Hop Toad. It's a fun, delightful little spring summer drink. We're going to start off with an ounce and a half of a nice aged rum. And then a half ounce of apricot liqueur. Today we're using bitter truth apricot liqueur. A half ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. And a couple dashes of aromatic bitters. Of course, bitter truth. We're gonna add some ice. And then we're going to shake this up. But before I go and shake, I just want to address shaking again. The last time I talked about shaking with everyone was around six years ago. And we talked about how to shake with the Boston shaker. Uh, in the last little while, you see me use cobbler shakers. And there's a reason for this. Um, a, they look pretty. But that's not the reason why we use them. We use them for functionality. Functionality and longevity. I've been doing this for around 26 years now and shaking and bartending for 26 years is tough on the body. Uh, the cobbler shaker allows you to shake in ways that are easier on the body, easier on the hearing. When you shake, oftentimes I should say, when you shake uh, with a Boston shaker, you're shaking like this, especially when you have two drinks on the go. What's happening when you shake like that is you're using one arm, one shoulder, and you're using that repetitive motion over and over again for years and years. You're gonna have some shoulder wear. The other problem, and this is the bigger problem that most bartenders don't think about, is when you're shaking like this, you have this loud crashing ice right next to your ear. And take it from someone who's been doing this for 26 years, you'll start to lose your hearing in that one ear. So here's the beautiful thing about the cobbler shaker, is it kind of forces you to shake up front, and it, it forces you to use both shoulders, and keeps the sound away from at least one ear and both ears. So the cobbler shaker for longevity and bartending. So you notice we still shook hard. Grab a nice chilled glass. And because we just shook the crap out of that drink, we want to get all those ice shards out. So let's fine strain that. to our beautiful glassware. On the show, you'll see some of our glassware looks antique. If it looks antique, it is. Find them on eBay. And a nice little lime garnish. And there we are, 1910 Waldorf Astoria, the Hop Toad. Sante.